What we're going to talk about now is reproducing plants by taking cuttings. Now it's really something that everyone can do and it's easy and cost effective. So if you're trying to reproduce plants and trying to grow them for your own garden, it's a great way to do it. What you need to get started with is a great mother stalk plant, some rooting powder, and then just some soil medium to get the roots started. What you want to do is take your mother stalk and get a three to four inch cutting right from the soft wood or the new growth. Now one thing you want to look at when you're taking cutting is make sure that the plant is in its growing cycle. No flowers are on it and it's not really producing any buds or seeds at the moment. It's really important to grab it in its growing cycle because that's going to make the cuttings grow a lot faster. If the plant is producing flowers, it's focusing on those and not on growing out new foliage or roots. So you've got your cutting. At the bottom of it, you want to cut off those leaves. Now these are leaf nodes. What's going to happen is roots are going to come out of those nodes right there later on. So it's really important that you put at least two of those nodes below the surface of the soil. The next thing you want to do is when it has long foliage like this, just cut it in half. It doesn't need all of that foliage and it's going to put energy into it when it really doesn't need it. If you have small leaves, you don't need to worry about trimming them off. Then take a rooting powder or rooting hormone like this Fertilone product here and dip the cutting in there. Now what this does is it protects the cutting from any kind of harmful bacteria that may hinder it from growing and it also encourages the roots to begin to grow. You want to take your rooting powder out of the original package and put it into another container so that way you don't contaminate that original package. Once you got the powder coating it, you dip it into your soil medium. You want something really well draining but retaining a little bit of moisture. Pack it in there and begin to let it grow. Now you want to keep that soil damp like a wrung out sponge. You want to also make sure that you keep the plants in a similar area to where the mother stalk was located at so there's no problems that it's going to occur. It's not going to be too hot or too cold. Keep it into a similar environment. Once you got your cutting in there, it's going to begin to grow. Now something that you might want to consider when taking the cutting as well is that you don't want to take cutting from a mother stalk that's either infected by a disease or has bugs on it. That's going to really hinder or contaminate all of your cuttings in the future. Other than that, go out to the garden, get some rooting powder, and have some fun.